Hi, my name is Naomi Joy Gallagher. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is an upper body dumbbell routine. We have five circuits with two moves in each one, and we're going to go through each circuit two times back to back. The timer will be on for 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest. I'm going to be using a lighter and heavier set of weights. I'll be using a set of 10 and 20. Use a weight that challenges you, but that you can maintain good form. If you enjoy dumbbell workouts, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We'll start with the next stretch. Tilt your right ear to the side. Switch sides. One more time, right, left. Open your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Switch which arm is, goes on top each time. Keep your core tight. Now we're gonna hinge from the hips, thumbs point up. We're squeezing our shoulder blades together. Knees are bent, weight is in heels, spine is straight. Stand up, palms front, pull your elbows down to the sides of your ribs, squeeze your lats underneath your armpits, hug the bottom tips of the shoulder blades together and down the back. We're going to draw a high V shape. The thumbs point up, the arms are wide. We're strengthening the mid back. Keep the front ribs drawing in and the belly button hugged in tight. Standing up now, we're going to take an arm circle to plank. Core is tight, glutes are lit up. Walk back through down dog, we circle the arms, and we fold down again into plank pose two more times. Line your weights up with your chest a little lower than your shoulders. Arms are at about a 45 degree angle away from the body. As you press up, widen your shoulder blades on your back and squeeze your chest and triceps. Slowly release with control. Your focus is to keep your chest and hips square to the ground. Feet are wide, mats width, core glutes and thighs are engaged. As you row up, squeeze your shoulder blade into spine. Please be mindful that you're not locking out your standing elbow. Keep a slight bend in it.
we're strengthening the upper back as well as the core in this anti-rotational movement. Focus on keeping your chest square to the ground and as you fly the arm back, think about squeezing your shoulder blade to spine. We're working slow and steady with this one. If you're lifting heavy, please be mindful that your core is pulled in, that you're not arching your lower back. The wider the stance, the more stable. You can also stagger your feet for more stability. Engage the muscles underneath your shoulder blades to pull the blades down your back. This will help you to open your chest and to maintain proper shoulder alignment. You can modify this by lifting both arms together at the same time.
Similar to the lateral raise, we initiate this move by pulling the shoulder blades down the back. Avoid leaning into the lower back to lift the arms. Keep your core and glutes tight. Something that I'm used to. I never cash else, I just wanted him to lose you. Damn, puffing on the bush at Uncle Sands. Who would have thought that he would understand? And I just never fall out, I just wanna win. I'm in it for the long run, I do this on my fam. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie, lie? Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Squeeze your elbows into ears and focus on widening your shoulder blades across your back. As you press overhead, activate your upper core muscles where your floating ribs are underneath your chest. Shoulders are away from ears, chest is open, and core is tight.
Chest is between hands. Index fingers point forward. As you lower down with control, squeeze your shoulder blades together. As you press up, widen your shoulder blades on your back. Keep your core, glutes, and thighs engaged and your eyes to the top of the mat. Press your pubic bones into the ground, tuck your tailbone under, and squeeze your core and glutes. With your thumbs facing up, squeeze your shoulder blades together and lengthen from head to toe. Let's start with a wide child's pose. We'll walk the upper body over to the right side, reach through the left hand, root down through your left hip. Breathe. We'll switch sides. Now we're gonna stretch the upper back. You're gonna cross your right arm under left. 
palm faces up and you're pressing the back of the arm into the ground, widening your right shoulder blade on your back. We'll switch sides. Remember to relax your neck and your jaw. Let go of tension. Now we're gonna come up to a tall seat and you're gonna flip your right palm up, left palm down, and you're gonna reach behind your back trying to touch your fingertips together. You can also hold onto your shirt or use a strap. Press your head into the upper arm. Breathe into your back. Let's switch sides. Make our way to cross-legged and we're going to take a side stretch. Root down through your right hip. Reach through your fingertips. Switch sides. Release. We'll interlace the fingers behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift your ch chest up. Maybe try and straighten your arms and lift your hands away from the low back. Release. We'll finish with a neck stretch. Tilt your ear to one side. Switch sides. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon.